In San Diego, taco shops are on every corner. Like the poets' cafes of the 1960s, taco shops have become new venues for spoken word artists. When they go into these taco shops, most people, you know, they're just eating there, they're eating their carne asada burrito, you know, having a good time, just crunching down. Then all of a sudden, you got these crazy Chicanos coming in, yelling and shouting and, and throwing stuff down that most of these people have never heard before. For the children. For the children, river drownings, gatekeepers. For the children, broken treaties. It takes a dormant village to raise a stillborn child. What you find is that the coffee shops create kind of a bourgeois space. You know, it's cappuccino culture. It's very trendy, and uh, we wanted something that was more culturally relevant. It was way past two in the morning. We were chewing on stems and living life on an installment plan. But when the checks it's a combination of tele-evangelism and political consciousness raising. Uh, it's fun. It's energetic. Poetry was always spoken out loud, and it was meant to be performed. What it offers is um, a chance to go into those places in your own heart that you don't often go into. Once you get there, have art that embraces people's lives, embraces your audience, audience's lives, so speaks to issues and impulses and intuitions and ideas that relate to them. That's what art is about, making you sense the world in a more expanded way than you did before you encountered the art. Another brother dies today, another brother dies today, and there's not a, not, a, not a damn thing you all can do to stop it. Another brother dies today, another drop falls tragically from the ceiling, and falling into unconscious thoughts of death near all our feet, near all our families. It's quicksand threatening to drown us, drown us.